we are discussing how to pass ca final and this is ram mohan bhave आप बहुत सारे चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स को मिले होंगे और जो आपको बोलते होंगे कि आज भी मुझे डर लगता है कि कहीं सी इंस्टीट्यूट मुझे वापस बुलाएगी तो नहीं डिग्री के लिए सो हाउ टू पास सी ए फाइनल द मोस्ट 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 इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग लेट मी राइट द फर्स्ट टिप be positive be positive and this can make a world of a difference it may look like philosophical but i meet lot of students who keep on thinking over past so to become positive one of the most important thing again is forget past forget past i feel like doing some drama here yesterday we had a physical session in our office in mumbai and uh, there right so let me show you the actions of a student how they happen and i'm not doing a mockery of it please what i'm saying is oh sir i lost by 2 marks you know in the previous attempt i lost by 5 marks this time i got 39 in this subject last time only aggregate i lost so you know what do i tell them a simple formula one has to keep in mind and what's that simple formula the formula is simple that is in ca 200 is equal to 400 and 199 is equal to 0 do you all agree with you me our ca institute is a ruthless institute so we need to learn some kind of new equations now this is a new mathematics we should remember that 200 is equal to 400 and 199 is equal to 0 coming from that therefore i am now touching the queries because while i would like to answer your specific queries i would also like to give some strategies for passing so i give the first strategy that is so be positive forget past suppose we want to talk about past how i wrote the question how the marks were less how i missed out the thing just by a narrow margin does some grace mark are being given or not well sometimes we feel like talking about it talking about it what should you do then get one friend get one mentor get your brother sister father mother anybody who is your well wisher and tell them what would you tell them so then what happens we want somebody shoulder we want somebody to listen us so what do we do in such a case simple thing cry on somebody's shoulder once for all once for all because the response received by us was quite a lot from the students who had already crossed one attempt two attempts three attempts four attempts so therefore do one simple thing cry on somebody's shoulders once for all and once you cry on that shoulder that's the end of it after that no crying forgetting past okay now i am going to look at it only positive right next to that what can make us pass ca final now that we are positive will powered determined then comes next that how do we pass in that case is passing possible yes is it completely unpredictable yes somewhat unpredictable then what is something which is which can be controlled by us let's talk about what we can control one 
सिंपलिस्टिक डू वी स्टडी कोल सिलेबस पॉइंट नंबर वन डू वी स्टडी कोल सिलेबस राइट दैट्स अ क्वेश्चन सो माय स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड टफ एडवाइस टू एवरीबडी इज श्योर माय स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड श्योर एडवाइस टू एवरीबडी इज पॉइंट नंबर वन Follow strategy called no options. Right? If we are in the second or third attempt, where is the question of putting any part of the syllabus as option? No options. Now here, one gets very interesting experiences when one comes across when people feel the students feel that they have not kept anything for option. If they are not kept anything for option, then I ask them, which group you have given? They say FR, group one, financial reporting. So, have you studied everything? Yes, yes. I have completed the whole syllabus. Fine. Have you done ESOPs? No, no, no. I have not done guidance note on ESOPs. Believe me. It is such an easy guidance note. If you put for option, you are already down by 4%. 4 marks question is definitely coming. Then you ask them, have you done employee benefits? Defined benefits? This is no, that's a very 200 pages topic. How can I do it? Another 4 marks. Away. And then gradually they start saying, oh, I didn't do A 30, 31, 32. Oh my God. No, oh, why all this? We have already put the option of 10-15 marks. That's the biggest challenge people face in FR. Otherwise, FR is a sure short subject of getting more than 60%. Anybody who wants a personal guidance, I'm open. Anytime, anytime, call me on. nine one six seven. Four four six seven four four. Call or WhatsApp. I'll guide you how to get a definite exemption in FR. FR by far is the most scoring subject and predictable in terms of marks. If you have to compare group one four subjects, surely SFM, lengthy, complex, derivatives, Black and Scholes model, no end to complexity. Auditing, how much will I remember? Professional ethics, auditing standards and law, now the syllabus changed. So the most predictable subject in group 1 is financial report. So therefore aim to have 75 to 80 marks in that. Once you do that, rest assured your worries of aggregate are gone. Last time we taught a few students financial reporting, all of them got exemptions in FR. Right. Then, if you have any queries, right now also send it by chat mode. I'll answer them on the spot. Currently, I'm taking the queries which are already received by us from others. Okay, but do do keep on putting the queries constantly. Next point. How much do I study? Now, is there an answer to that? There can't be an answer to the question called how much do I study? How many hours we have in a day? 24. How many hours a common man, a normal man sleeps? 7 hours. How many hours are required for BBBLD? Should I add him? Okay. I'll add him. This should happen in 2 hours. Now what is this BBBLD? This is my formula. Breakfast. Bath, brush, lunch, dinner. Now M is for reserved for girls makeup. 
actually should not have time for it. But this put together, this will in totality six breaks to be completed in two hours. Then one hour do a physical exercise. Exhausting. Yes, any query please, carry on, tell me. And then one hour for mental peace. How much is left? 11 hours. So we have balance is 13 hours. Now you know what to do in 13 hours. Studies. Studies in the rest of the 13 hours. And this 13 hours has 6 breaks. So 2 hours at a time. And that serves your purpose. Yeah. Right. So I gave you the timetable of 24 hours. Of which 13 hours has to be studied. Let's say my God 13 hours. Some people will say. Are 13 hours enough? Some people will say. My God 13 hours. How can I? Well, Bhagwan Ram ne vadvas kiya tha. Pandavo ne adhyatvas me gaye the. Aap Ram bhi bano aur Arjun bhi bano. Vadvas bhi karo aur adhyatvas bhi karo. That is the only solution. Very frankly. I mean, I can't say CA can be given lightly. There are few stars. God has made some 5% stars. You can go by them. But, People like you and me, 99% people are average. So we better understand our limitations. And what they call in Hindi, Sau Sonar Ki Ek Lohar Ki. So Ek Lohar Ki Dena Hai. Sau Sonar Ki, Sau Attempts Ke Liye, Where Is Our Time? And that's where I'm coming from and saying that, If you are not passed before, Aapne Agar Pahle CA Complete Nahi Kar Paaye Ho, Do Teen Attempt Ho Chuke Hai, then the answer is simple. Very strong 13 hours. Now next comes. How much. How much should I study per subject. My guess. 150 to 180 hours. So what am I saying. Anything between 10 to 15 days. Alright. 150 hours is 12 days. By the timetable of schedule. 13 hours schedule. So 12 to 15, 18. Do two subjects at a time. One theory, one practical. So for example, you can do FR and audit together. Finish in one month's time. And then second is SFM and law. Now mind well that the May exam, the law syllabus has changed dramatically. So all the classes or anything which we have done in past may not help, may need all redoing. Yeah. So let's uh, move forward from that. 13 hours, how many months? 13 hours, how many months per subject? 15 days. So eight subjects, four months. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Four if you have to do 8 subjects for both the groups, then you are talking about 4 months. Now, if you have done the studies in the previous attempts, then you may not require 15 days again for that subject. But, by and large, if you want to be sure, then yes, 15 days per subject, 13 hours. And how do you manage to do so much study? Answer is simple again. Answer is simple means what? What is the simple answer? What I mean by that? Let me give you a simple answer here. The simple answer is no TV, no movie, no Facebook. No WhatsApp. Right? Give your cell phone to your mother. 
and tell her that only five calls five numbers i will accept that is father mother brother sister and my bhave sir no other calls i am going to accept what are we are saying we are saying ca means ram ka vanvas vanvas i think uh, bridge we should have a picture of ram and pandavas this ram and pandavam ka adnyatvas now you get some guys who will say oh i am a cool guy i won't do this thing well if he is lucky he will pass now you have to decide between i want to be a sure shot ca and a good ca or a matka ca by chance somebody can pass or ca finalist all my life well anybody will take this choice sure shot ca and good ca and the key to success is this one was and other was don't go for movies don't go for even your closest cousin brother's marriage no social functions is it good to stop social functions for 4 to 6 months or cry lifelong for not completing ca i am putting tough words here right good what next so now that we are saying that 13 hours for how many days 13 hours into 15 days into 8 subjects so one month for fr plus audit second month for sfm plus law third month for costing plus edit and fourth month the paid subject of everybody iska plus duty right then comes the next question which book should i use which book should i use books honestly there is no choice of books whatever you have used last time whatever you have used last time please use that you see right but i am adding something but compare module plus practice manual plus rtp with book or class notes used before you will find find 30% extra 
matter is there in module etc what does it mean it means that all these days i was putting i was putting 30% syllabus is option yeah so obviously if 30% syllabus is option the chances of passing are less yeah Hmm. Now, the question is, how do I study? What should be my method of study? So, let me make two parts. Practical one subject with one theory subject. Do two subjects at a time. After you do two subjects at a time, how much per day, which one? This is all individual choice. Individual choice. Next question. Somebody has asked. Somebody has asked how many revisions should I do? How many revisions? Believe me. Only one revision. Only one revision. What do I mean by that? You know, do right for the first time. Do right for the first time. It means when we do original studies, first time studies, they should be so strong that the need of revision should be only once. That too because we are studying for four months and then appear for, for exam. The subject which was studied three months back needs a refresh. That's all. Otherwise, do right first time. Okay. Believe me, one revision only. Then what do I do next? Mock test. Take mock test. Where do I take mock test? Again, individual choice. There are many people giving mock test. Many people taking mock tests. Since you have specially attended this webinar, let me give you my personal email ID. And I'll send you more details about which mock tests have produced good results. Right? Mohanbhave at gmail.com. Alright. And I give you my WhatsApp number also. Send me your query anytime. Not an issue. Yeah. Right. What should be my state of mind? My state of mind. Generally, a student starts with a state of mind. What is called as? A student starts with a state of mind saying, how do I get 50%? 50%. One must come out of this kind of a philosophy. We must start with saying, I need to get 80%. If we prepare for 80%, we get 50 to 60%. If we prepare for 50%, at least in one subject in each group, we don't get even 40%. And there lies the problem. The whole philosophy has to be changed. That I am going to be a rank holder. I am going to get 80%. I 
I want to be each subject topper. Can I do that? If I do that, that works. That works at least for passing. So, keep a big aim. Don't keep a low aim. How do I somehow pass? That somehow pass jugglery doesn't happen. Yeah. That's where we are coming. What is the next issue? Question. He says, uh, uh, question is asking, how many RTPs to cover? How many RTPs to cover? Honestly, I normally like a figure of six. Okay. In all my life, when I gave the exams like CA, ICWS, CS, I used to cover six. But some of the RTPs are repeat. So really, when you take past six RTPs, if you remove the duplication, generally four RTPs are remaining. Okay. So six is good enough because six gives the latest trend. Six also gives really a material for four. Some of them you have, might have already done it. But when it comes particularly to the practicals, the six RTPs ensure that you don't miss any variety. Ananda Krishnan, you are from which city? Pune. Okay. Nice to hear that, Anand. Okay. Pune is where I was born. So, blessings to you. You will pass this time. So, there is one more question. Mm -hmm. is asking. He said, uh, give some guidance on preparing for direct testing. Yeah. I'll, Anand, let me share with you the issue about direct tax. And I am putting myself like a student. What are the biggest challenges in direct tax? The challenges in biggest challenges in direct tax is you get one day before exam and syllabus is so vast, syllabus is so vast that a full revision of DT is impossible. Am I right, Anand? I suppose I am talking like a student. Well, thank God I am no more a student. Because every CA is scared that if he has to appear again, will he pass again? God knows. Anyway, so what you do is, first is that give mock tests of DT and see if you are getting 75%. If you are not getting 75%, then I would say DT requires more days than 15. Okay. So, one line mantra for DT. Keep minimum for DT. on the day before exam. So, that is why you might have seen that when I wrote four months, I have put DT at the end. Can you see that? I have put DT at the end. So, in a way, your DT should happen in the last 15 days of April or one month of April because you are doing ISCA and DT together. So that DT is most fresh in your mind because the syllabus is unlimited. Let me tell you unlimited. This is the trick. In fact, I had asked to some of the rank holders whom I could teach IFRS or whom I could, uh, you know, interact uh, during some of my GMCS lectures. I can give you the names. Vivek Falod, Kruti Shah, Shilpa Surana. Lot of students I had met. And Mayur, recently I met Mayur. And that guy really had worked hard on DT. Yeah. Sir, there is one question from Westbound. Hmm. Which is how to prepare for ISCA. Desmond, I like your ISCA question. 
Desmond, your iska question, I like. Why, you know? You know, in any class of CA, whenever I go to GMCS, I ask the first question, do you like iska? And people start laughing, you know. Because iska everybody hates. But interestingly, India is forward, going forward with information technology. So, you all guys have to learn iska. So, how to learn iska? Now, this technique I am not only giving for iska, but practically for all subjects. But becomes applicable maximum for ISKA. Why does it become maximum applicable for ISKA? Let me tell you very frankly. How do we know accounts very well? Simple. Our father gets money and we spend the money. So we know income and expenditure. So we know P and N. There is no separate visualization required for accounts. How does our mother can know on the tip of her tongue, how much rice is in balance, how much wheat is in balance, how much dal is in balance. She does a great inventory management. And we see that from our childhood. Therefore, costing is visualized by us. What is not visualized, perhaps audit and taxation gets visualized at article. What's left? Law and ISCA. And then we keep on thinking that these are the two subjects I must mug up. And then we start mugging up. Now, mugging up has never helped anybody. This one. No ever. So, what should be done? Answer is simple. Visualization technique. This technique I have taught to many students. What is that technique? Let me write down here. Yeah. So, visualization technique means, kya meri akhon ke samne kuch aata hai? When I say metadata, or when I say control risk assessment, or when I say that pet word called HDLC, HDLC, metadata, even go to the topmost rank holder of India and ask him, do you remember HDLC? Now that you have passed CA last time, he will give a smile, right? And we know why that smile means. So, visualization is important. Now here, what I had done, luckily this one, you are in Mumbai. I am normally in Mumbai. Sometimes visit to Pune and sometimes to Delhi for my IFRS lectures. Right? You all must be knowing that I am in IFRS trainings. Okay? Uh, so, coming to visualization. As far as visualization is concerned, what is metadata? If you go to the study material, it will say data about data. Can I make any sense about it by saying this? Can I remember this by mugging up? No chance. So what do I do? I do one simple thing. I do one simple thing. I took a gang of 25 people to Mahindra and Mahindra, requested their IT manager. Can you show my students, can you show my students, how does this concept called metadata appears on screen? And he showed them the servers and the network. Believe me, at the end of the visit, for every topic they had some screen in front of their eyes. And this metadata was nothing but, do you know index in a book? How do you find? So and so data is here. And there is a data which is like an index. Which tells you where is this data? Where is which data? That's about all. Now, I can remember it like this. When can I remember it like this? I can remember it like this. When and only when I have a situation of I have a situation of something in the front of my eyes. Can I visualize something? That is what makes me. So visualization is the most important technique, not just for ISKA, but for all subjects. God has given us a limited memory. We and CA syllabus is huge. We are coming from school and college and even CA inter. Where the syllabus were manageable to crump in. 
sorry this is a bad head but you you will have hair so it won't go easily inside at least in my case it will go directly all right so god has given us a head with limited memory and while doing that limited memory you can't mug up everything nobody can so how do i reduce the memory burden when i to reduce the memory burden i dump i i push everything to visualization mere aankhon ke samne wo concept kuch picture swarup mein aata hai kya you know that one picture means thousand words so can something come in front of me anand again asked क्वेश्चन Can I rely fully on practice manual? Can you rely RTP? on practice manual and RTP? Only, sir. Three months left. Are you saying that you won't read modules? Modules are too big. I agree. I am not telling you to read modules. I am saying browse the modules. Browse the modules quickly. you have studied in past from books or class notes please answer me anand what have you studied from in any case wherever you have studied from anand find the difference extras between books class note versus module what do i mean by that let me explain you what i want to say is i like to take the example of fr you have done fr from some particular class notes and that would have given you seven varieties of consolidation the actual varieties of consolidation in module are 13 and if you try pm and rtp directly you may not cover all 13 so if your answer is can i do class notes plus pm and rtp my answer is no you must check the delta of module minus book used or class notes used and 3 months 3 months okay call it 3 months can i say do you see them big now so don't say only 3 months okay 3 months are good enough yeah i don't know how many have you appeared before how many times so that will decide he is saying that i am on the assumption that i have basic knowledge of entire subject if you have basic knowledge of entire subject if you have itra bol pages to write if you have basic knowledge of entire subject answer is simple do mock test are you scoring 75 marks if you are scoring 75 marks then i would say yes if you have basic knowledge of every subject then give the mock test score 75 80 marks if you are scoring then only i will agree that you have basic knowledge if not i won't agree so the answer lies in can you 
स्कोर 75 परसेंट प्लस मार्क्स इफ यूर बेसिक स्टडीज ओवर इफ नॉट देन इट कैन नॉट बी कॉल्ड एज बेसिक स्टडी All right. Now, while Anand, you can answer me. Let me take Neha's question in the meantime. All right. Neha's question. So Neha's question is when should how many days in advance I should start my revision? So Neha, my answer is clear. Ten days, eight days, anything between eight to fifteen. So roughly, I am saying one or two days per subject is the revision. Honestly speaking, one day should be enough. Eight subject, eight days. But it does happen that we are not strong in all the eight subjects. So therefore, I would say okay. And of course, I do not mean that in eight subject, one day per subject. I am saying that in eight days, totally all eight subjects should be finished. You may do every day two three subject partly, etc. etc. So eight days are maximum. i would say on 22nd of april your study should stop your basic study should stop basic studies mock test that should that should be yeah i should tell you one funny story which happened recently call up this guy called devendra apte and also call up veena they will tell you how they scored excellent in fr now typically i'm coming back again and again to fr because fr is a subject see this time you saw group 1 the result is 23% group 2 result is 10% so give a big thrust on group 1 within that give a big thrust on fr and it should be such a powerful subject for you that okay so neha i am answering your question very straight that 8 days in totality yeah right any next questions or should i take the questions which have been received before and anand despan neha very nice of you please keep asking one more question is that uh, since uh, the cfi is very good this time hmm Okay, let me put it this way. C A final question. The question is: This time the C A final result was good, very good. Is it because they want more professionals? Let me tell you, there is no relationship like that. Absolutely no. First of all, who says it is result was good? Nobody says that. Honestly, look at the percentage. Last time result was three and half. This time result is seven and half. Or uh, before that it was six percent. Before that it was once fifteen percent. Then there was twenty percent. So what are you comparing with? This result is just better than last time. So whether the corporate needs more professionals or not, or India needs more professionals. Sorry, I have. in many meetings check this fact with the institute do we do anything as per demand supply and they have categorically said no we don't involve ourselves in the result it has to happen automatically so our respected ca institute does not do any tweaking with the result let us be clear now sometimes we might find individual subjects marks going funny that is perhaps so many people appearing who can control it every examiner cannot be relied upon it can happen but rest assured the result is good no result is 7.5% it is better than just last time but it is worse than the result which was in 11 and 
that time people said the same thing that time it was a recession so all these i for is or industry needs whether they improve the result no one good thing about our institute ca is they are maintaining the high standard unless a person has really done tapasharya he cannot pass there are a few cases will happen when millions are giving exam a few people pass by chance i think that is not even 1% if we are lucky there could be a lottery but that's 1% right so be clear be rest assured no tweaking no industry demand supply i mean frankly where is who has got the time to go into the details of increasing or decreasing income it completely happens with a mechanical process and and this fact i have taken an opportunity to speak in many public meetings held by different presidents in different cities like mumbai pune nashik delhi and i asked them publicly as well as privately they said no no chance and privately they say frankly bhave where do we have time to do all this thing? i mean everybody is busy here yeah so there is no deal yes any other question pending please yeah there is one more question which says that uh, uh, ca i am not able to clear ca finally mm -hmm. taking a lot of attempts so what are the career opportunities alternate career opportunities uh, mm -hmm. which uh, one it needs to take a practical stand because you cannot endlessly keep on trying you have to do it right uh, try it twice right i'll repeat this question this boy or this person who has question amit. is amit amit says that i have tried ca final number of times number of times four times what should one do because we have life also the ca is not the only thing in life answer is simple what are we looking at ca makes us experts in accounts finance finance is a question mark because we have mba finance costing and taxation right now amit my first question to you is do you want to go for a job or practice my answer by and large is same but i can give you with examples okay now talking about go to any company let's take gamon india i worked in gamon india for some time or let's take reliance where i worked for 3 years okay do you know the ratio of people working in corporates finance accounts costing here let's add mis and budgeting and tax 80% people are here and all at cas around 5% are here around 10% are here and 5% are here i include accounts a little bit of a internal audit also so and after all chartered accountant we say we don't say chartered taxation expert so therefore mind well our most important subject is accounts most important subject is accounts now we have to decide are we local accountants or global accountants and post globalization amit we are into the world of ifrs so my recommendation to you is do diploma in ifrs global diploma in ifrs if your ca is not getting through do diploma in ifrs why am i saying this i mean i hold the classes of diploma in ifrs i have online trainings on ifrs but this is a completely unbiased thought if you see the forbes magazine the best careers currently on the commerce side is ifrs look at the number of vacancies which creates swiss has 
look at the demand which Deutsche Bank had. Look at the vacancies which JP Morgan has. Look at the vacancies which WNS has. Birla Minax has. What am I talking? I am talking about banking and KPU sector. Do you know that 30% of the world's accounts are being handled in India. 30% of the world's accounts. Let me use the space which is spare available here. And this 30% is going to become 80%. World's accounts are going to be in India. So my recommendation is go for IFRS. You will ensure that you will pass IFRS and get a job. Get a job because you know that a CA inter is no much not at all in demand. Second, you can also honestly get an exemption in FR surely. I can bet with you, you do our IFRS course. Your FR exemption is a guaranteed. I will personally give attention to you to see that how you get an exemption in FR. Do IFRS. IFRS will ensure that your career path is clear so that parallelly your dream of CA can continue. Because I agree with you, if there are four attempts and you are tried seriously, but yes, CA is what is the problems of CA? One is am I capable to do CA? Question number one, am I capable? Doubt starts coming after few attempts. Second, is the result predictable? I feel that the papers are done well by me, but still I don't pass. Why? Unpredictability. You can't say anything. Else. Third, I am 25, 27. When will I start my life? Now, this is a million dollar question. I don't think anything more than four or five attempts, one should try more. But one last chance one should take, no doubt about it. And that too, based on the tips which I am giving. Yeah. November which year? 11. November 11? Okay. Uh, Somebody who is saying that, oh yeah, Neha, you have been trying from November 11. Which city you are from? Which city you are from? Mumbai. If you are from Mumbai, personally meet me. Okay. But I have given you my number. I will give you some tips. But otherwise, option one, give one best try. Give one best try. Option two, shift to IFRS. Okay. IFRS is by and large will give you the same scope. So option one, give one last best attempt. Do you have both the groups pending, Neha? Both groups. I am writing a question here to you, Neha. Please reply. Till your answer comes, I will give you some tips here. That if you are not clearing for quite a few attempts since November 11, there is a good possibility that there is a conceptual challenge. And if you have a conceptual challenge, then Let's go into the depth, how to start dealing with the conceptual challenge. How to start dealing with the conceptual challenge. Let me find some space here. The biggest and best answer for conceptual challenge is visualization. And anybody who wants to know visualization, how it is to be done for each subject, 
well i have sat with the student just as a professional obligation responsibility to study along with them study with you i will study with you one or two subjects for three hours each and teach you how to do visualization teach you how to do for example every time we cannot get a guide every time we cannot get a guide why we cannot get a guide because guides are not coming for free they also have their time so what you do is keep a computer open google open and suppose you want to know what is nostro and vostro account you will click you will see a picture then you will remember it because one thing is how to complete syllabus and those who are fourth attempt fifth attempt i mean beyond three attempts my first advice is meet me once if you are in mumbai i will give two three hours for you and also identify in all the eight subjects two to three topics or chapters which you had found difficult in past or you have kept it for option oh i don't like that i don't like that keep it away here is a time first 10 to 15 days finish those topics by 10th of february you must finish all difficult topics and if you face any difficulty catch up with me i teach you free at least for few hours yeah so ca is not unsurmountable what is the difficulty one will power and determination now really i feel sometimes sad that how in a sixth or seventh or eighth attempt a person can keep will power part of life but give one best second have i studied full syllabus we must we must don't say i will leave aside other laws you know us pe to 10 mark ka hi aata hai don't have that it it requires a full preparation then next third and that is where many people after three to four attempts also go wrong is a right direction to pass believe me completing how many cas are there in india 2 like 50000 do we know a guess in fact once i have read in the institutes website also i'm not sure what should i say about that i'm not able to find that link again but to my knowledge anything between 5 to 7 lakhs people either are still doing final or left final you can see it every time when there is a result of 7 to 15% cumulative people are pass waiting for two attempts three attempts so total if 100 people are entering into final then 70 out of that according to me are giving up fancy do i want to be part of 70 surely not and that's where one of the most critical technique is conceptual understanding and visualization so amit or neha or desmond whoever is facing problem do call me up any time i have given you my number neha both groups are pending yeah neha if your both groups are pending do a planning with me on phone or by meeting me personally luckily you are in mumbai <coughs> yeah tomorrow we have another program careers for cas and anybody wants to know what is our further career including for example ifrs or if i am not going to continue ca or i want to do ca but gradually and want to start my career <coughs> please join tomorrow's webinar also that's going to be very very helpful also completion exam for people who have not qualified struggling with the ifrs they have transformed yeah sure one of the question is coming up is how do i i mean i literally nowadays do mentoring you can go to my facebook profile ram mohan bhave and i have a resolution of mentoring at least once person doing ca <coughs> per week and let me give you some examples of the mentor students 
How many of them? I think must be more than four, five hundred. Devendra Apte is the latest example. When he came with a big Cadbury chocolate yesterday, I was so happy. His face was shining. He said, sir, because of you, my financial reporting subject went on extremely well. Why? He said, sir, I was struggling and struggling and struggling. And when I was struggling and struggling and struggling, what was I struggling on? I was struggling on after attending the classes two times and four attempts. I was not still able to understand what is this guidance note. But I, I attended your IFRS lectures and I was clear. Then Veena, Veena Venkat. I mean, dosa is due from her. A big dosa. She has promised me already. But her IFRS knowledge made her very strong in IFR. Not only that, she did a mock test. And it was very successful. So, how do you mentor the people? How do you make the career? See, finally, CA is a tool. We want jobs. We want the practice scope. How do I go about it? Answer is simple. There are six sectors open. I want to go to Canada or Dubai or Europe. Neither my taxation is going to work. Because there is no global taxation as yet. Finance, totally different. What happens in India and what happens in Canada? Totally. What is common in the world now? Luckily. And luckily Arun Jetli has declared the roadmap also. That is accounting. Focus on accounting, you have unlimited careers. Do IFRS, do US GAAP, you are going to do wonders. How many names should I give you? Let me give you as many names. Mayur, Ghanasyam Joshi, Shweta Sukhija, Oram Modi, Dinesh Karthik, Jayesh Panchar, Samir Jhakkar. All are my FB friends. Go and see it. I have marked them as special friends. Go on Facebook and see it. Okay. Including the photographs of parties given by them. I have published them. So the idea is not to boost. But I have decided the how many years are left for me. Maybe 5 years. I am 58. Though I look 68. 5 to 10 years I want to see that whosoever wants my help is mentored so well that uski career ban jani chahiye. And you want to ask this to Devendra, I will write down his number right away. Phone him and ask him. Phone Hiral Shah. She is in Deloitte. I will give you the names of 300 people. Or go to our website, consultifrs.com and my friend's website, meraskill.com. Numbers and numbers we have. So, don't make see a question of life and death. But at the same time, if you want to make a career, give a strong, big push one solid hard attempt for CA on the lines of direction. And then, how many people have done the career? Rajiv Ramana has gone to Dubai. Deepak Iyer has gone to Cap Gemini, Paris. Asavari has gone to America. Yogita Ghodke has gone to Canada. Jain has gone to Australia. We are here to do wonders. No, no doubt about it. Abhijit Deshmukh. Go and take the name of SS Rane and Associates. He is doing a wonderful IFRS practice. Okay. A lot of people feel that where is the uh, IFRS practice? If IFRS is not there in India. That is another secret. Learn it tomorrow. But by and large what I am trying to bring to your notice is. We have a great career. And the maximum scope lies in accountants. Like in year 2000. Many of you must be children in that time. But year 2000, it so happened that Java programmers and Y2K programmers, 80% of the work was done in India or by Indians outside India. The same thing is going to happen in accounts. India is going to become world's accountant. Mark my words. Do you know Colgate? Of course, we know toothpaste. Do we know Colgate in Mumbai? Yes, we know. Go to Colgate in Mumbai. And you ask them, do you have a vacancy? They will say what, you know. Are you a rank holder? Are you a first item? But I will give you a trick. Go to Colgate Andheri. And ask them, do you have a vacancy? They say, of course, yes. How come? Because the Colgate's whole world's accounts 
आर प्रिपेर्ड इन अंधेरी मुंबई कोलगेट बीपीओ इज देयर इन अंधेरी सो देयर दे वांट एवरीबडी हु नोज अकाउंटिंग हु नोज अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स हु नोज कंसोलिडेशन हु नोज आईएफआरएस हु नोज यूएसआई सो अकाउंटिंग इज गोइंग टू डू अ बिग रेवोल्यूशन इफ योर करियर इज गेटिंग स्टक बिकॉज़ ऑफ सीए डोंट वरी टू मच गिव वन लास्ट अटेम्प्ट टेक द डायरेक्शंस otherwise move across yeah any other questions coming up yeah let me take now the last question which has come just now that is is there any other question please feel free but the last question i see here is what is the way i study on a regular basis or this 3 4 months one So this is the last question. In the meantime, anybody has a question, please write quickly. Otherwise, we are almost completing this. Conceptually strong. Visualization. Thirteen hours studies. Then. one hour mental peace what is this mental peace go with somebody who is ready to not to speak a single word about ca keep the peace of mind and next is mock test then target of 75% yeah. not to add which is a must will power and determination right so uh, my friend breach has a list of the people who have uh, enrolled for this a big list of course i hope i have been able to answer your questions any questions you can write to me on mohanbhave@gmail.com or whatsapp me on 9167446744 i am also available on facebook ram mohan bhave and i happen to have more than 10000 friends on facebook thanks to all of you so with this best wishes to all of you do come in touch be in touch any help you required certainly i'm there see you tomorrow anyone interested in ifrs anyone interested in career plans for a chartered accountant or even a ca finalist tomorrow same time 6:30 i would like to see you pleasure to meet you all the best goodbye